But you know I always like to save a surprise. Or two, maybe. <laughs> Are you ready for a surprise or two? Okay, well, hey, look, are you guys excited about the 5700 XT and the 5700? Yeah. Are those great GPUs? Yeah. And guess what? I have one more GPU for you today. All right, my friends, my friends, my friends, this is a very special GPU. And it's in honor of our 50th anniversary this year. This is the 50th anniversary edition, Radeon 5700 XT. Now, is this incredibly gorgeous? OK, now, I know it looks pretty, but you also want to know what the specs of this card are, don't you? And this card is the best of the best. The highest performer of the 5700 series at 40 compute engines and a boost clock of 1.98 gigahertz. Now, we are super excited about this special edition, and it's going to be available exclusively on AMD.com at a price of $4.99. Okay, guys, but you know, I have two kids, right? We have our GPUs and our CPUs. So if we had an extra GPU, we have to be fair, yeah. right? Yeah. And we also have to have an extra CPU. Yeah. So I know you guys have all been wondering what is the best of the best of Ryzen. So earlier, you saw the 3900X. And was that just an amazing CPU? Yeah. And now I'm happy to say, yes, AMD is not only pushing gaming beyond eight cores. We are not only pushing gaming to 12 cores. But I am so proud to introduce today, for the very, very first time here at E3, meet the world's first 16-core gaming processor. Yeah. This is the 3950X, OK? This is the best of the best. It's 16 cores, 32 threads, the highest boost frequency in our stock stack with a boost up to 4.7 gigahertz, an amazing 72 megabytes of total cache, all of this at 105 watts. Incredible performance, incredible power, the best of the best. And you can expect to see Ryzen 9 3950X for gamers around the world this September for $749. So look, we love to have fun at AMD. So uh, we took this guy for a spin over the weekend here at E3. Take a look at some records being broken. Today we're going to be trying to break several little records with the new Ryzen 3rd generation 3950X. We're going to be using liquid nitrogen, cooling the part way down, and see what we can do. So we just dropped the temperature down. We're going to try to modulate it here in a certain range. We've set the BIOS uh, for the CPU voltage, and we're going to do everything else in Ryzen Master. So we're going to set 5.3. I think Ahmed already clicked the button. Yep. Okay, so... We're at the right okay, go. It's running. 